The Lilac Centre prepares you for the fight, picks you up when you're down and is always in your corner. The Lilac Centre brings people together who are facing the same challenge and that makes you stronger. The Lilac Centre isn't scary, it's actually really welcoming. The Lilac Centre is like a big family here for every patient. Being told that you have cancer, is, it is life changing and it is really, really scary. You know that you have cancer initially but you don't know what grade it is, if it's spread. You don't know if you need surgery or if you need chemotherapy or if you need radiotherapy or indeed in my case if you needed all three. The first time I come to the Lilac Centre was for the chemotherapy. I've only ever heard really great stories about the Lilac Centre. But when I come in and I sat down in the chair for my very first session, I was uncontrollably shaking. I was crying my eyeballs out. And that's when Lindsay, um, one of the nurses, come and helped. And she took me out of the room, brought me into a council room, went over what I was worried about. And I think I was worried about getting the drip in my arm and my hair blowing off and turning really, really skinny, which was, doesn't happen because you have steroids, and being really, really ill and vomiting for days. I just got all the worst worries of chemo into my mind. Um, so Lindsay helped me. She sat with me, calmed me down, um, and then we got on with the chemotherapy then. And once you're over that first time, it's not too bad. When I come here, they didn't just see me as Claire who was fighting breast cancer. They see me as a mum, and my mum used to come with me for the chemotherapy. They looked after me mum. They could see that she was upset because it was her daughter that was going through it. Um, they were just constantly there, all of the time, emotionally, physically, preparing you for what was coming next. They know that we get achy and that you get down and things, so you're also offered things like holistic therapies to help with those awful side effects. Alongside all the medical treatments, they're pushing for that spiritual side of you to actually have a pamper, actually have a relax. The charitable donations that come into the Lilac Centre are vital, absolutely vital for helping patients with so many aspects of life. There's no way I would have been able to afford 30 pounds to go for a body massage. There is no way I will be able to do some of the other activities that they offer. I could never have afforded a wig. Wigs can be hundreds of pounds. And all these things that the Lilac Centre do because of the charitable funds afforded to them makes the cancer journey more bearable. Once my time at the Lilac Centre was finished, which it is now, um, it was actually very, very emotional. It was like leaving home, <laughs> really, because they, do, they just become part of your family. So I have my pick line out of my arm, um, and me and my mum went round and said our goodbyes to everyone, and it was very, very emotional. And the Lilac Centre staff must get this week in and week out. One of the patients did say to me, the hardest part is leaving, and it is one of the hardest parts, because you've got to lean on these guys, and they've got you through the toughest time of your life. They become a second family. You have your first family at home and you have your Lilac family and you couldn't ask for any better than the Lilac family to get you through.